What's up guys? Twin Flame update. So the last Twin Flame update I did, I believe it was February. And it predicted what is going on now, the recession. And I knew, well, now these readings, I don't remember these readings. They go, you know, I do them and I forget them unless I rewatch them. But anyway, it predicted a lot of what is going on right now. So I'm learning that these twin flame readings may simply apply to more than just the people who feel like they're on a twin flame journey. So it could be predicting things that's happening in our personal lives, but also could be predict predicting world events. Like for me to even mention some of the things that's happening now, like recession and, and it, rely on your talents during changing times, meaning a lot of people are relying on their talents and making money while their businesses are closed or while their jobs are closed. So certainly these readings mean something. So I just wanted to disclaimer, put out a disclaimer that although this may apply to you personally in your twin flame journey, this also may apply to the world. So I always say this, but I'm gonna to try to do them more often because that just proves that there is some value to this. All right, Spirit of the Lord, come forth with a message for the Twin Flame Collective, the world, or simply give us guidance in our personal journeys and also on our collective journeys as well. So I'm gonna start with Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards because I missed this deck, and then I will be using the Modern Wish Tarot to continue. Um, my readings, personal readings, continuously says that something is about to happen. It's predicting marriage, and I be by myself every day, so I'm trying to figure out what that's all about. But life could change in any moment, so I guess a positive. The craziest thing happened to me today. My uh, neighbor, who's also um, like a mentor to me. Um, anyway, so me, my background, I have a background in HR and I have a master's degree. I'm a veteran. I've spent time in war, four years in the army. So I have a lot going on for myself. Bachelor's, master's, five books, been to war, army veteran, um, HR experience of about 10 years collectively. But I went on my spiritual journey, sacrificed a lot, and brought me to where I am now. I do complain in life. She say I complain, and I have a lot more than what other people have in life, and I'm grateful. But she also, um, she talked to one of her friends who was a manager at Lowe's and told her about me. So she asked me, she was like, I have a friend at Lowe's. She said she can get you a job. No offense to anyone who works in retail or who will work in Lowe's. This is not about Lowe's or retail or anything like that. But anyway, it just made me feel like, did my spiritual journey really lead me to a place where someone is offering me a job at Lowe's when I spent so many years in college, where I spent so many years in the military, so many years building myself up it just really kind of just made me reflect on where I am in life and how bad it really is. Now, it, it's not that bad again. Um, but still, it's just like more money is good. But am I really at a place where a job at Lowe's is being offered to me? You know what I mean? So anyway, no offense to anyone. I mean, it's not a bad job to have, but it's just like... I didn't go to college and get a master's degree. I didn't write five books. I didn't go to the army. I didn't build 10 years of HR experience working in the federal government for a few years to ultimately end up at Lowe's. Now, would it help me with money for my business that I'll be opening up when I get to Georgia that I tried to open up here and wasted money? Yes. So, I don't know. That's something to reflect on for me. If you have any comments on that, let me know. All right, Spirit of God, what message do you have for the Twin Flame Collective? We'll be posting this on YouTube. Empath. Huh, interesting. Um, the Empath card came out. The Empath card is interesting to come out, especially when, um, I'm gonna get three. Oh, gave me more. Especially when the comment I just made about 
that I end up in lows. Cause you know, an impasse is like this, you're not at the beginning of your journey. You're not at the end of your journey. You're at an impasse, but it came out with a completion card. So honestly, this is like, you're almost there. That's what I feel like this is saying. Then I'll read the rest of these. There may be a slight, a level of confusion um, with it too. Then we have forgiveness, despondence, creation, workaholic. All right, so I'm going to clarify this reading with the witch, modern witch tarot. A lot of you are on twin flame journeys to become the high, your high, your version of a high priestess. When I get the high priestess card in a reading, it's like that person evolving or being seen as someone in high regard. So when you're the high priestess to me, this is you being the in one with your highest self. This is you in union with your masculine and feminine energies operating in your personal power. So, um, why did I say that? With that being said, with the impasse and the completion card, it's just saying we could almost be there to the end of our journeys. This is an impasse. This is not a no. This is not a completion. But with the completion being right after it, it's almost saying that we're almost there. And because sometimes sight can blind you from physical, from the spiritual reality of who you really are, there may be a level of confusion with it. And I resonate with that as well because honestly, this journey has been so long, there is some confusion. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. And pretend like I don't go through the things that the normal person goes through. Yes, there is a level of confusion when you go through your journey because Again, you, we are in physical reality. We can't ignore physical reality. We live it every day. Um, so that's that. So I'm gonna get some clarifying cards. Y'all see my LSU? I'm on the LSU bandwagon because I'm in Louisiana. Interesting. So we have the two clarified by the two of pentacles, the queen of swords, the knight of swords, Interesting. What is this adding to this reading spirit? Okay, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles, the Empress. So the Empress being on the bottom could be several things. Um, then we have the Two of Pentacles. Can y'all see that? We have the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles to go with the Impasse Completion and Confusion card. Then we have Forgiveness, Despondence, Creation, and Workaholic. So Creation and the Empress to come out, that's clearly about our goals, this is about our dreams, the things that we're working on, our physical creations. It could be fertility. It could also be um, just giving birth to your ideas, focusing on the things that you would like to create. So it does look like we enter a phase of life where our creations will start working for us or um, that we'll be super focused on our creations. With the workaholic and the creation card, it does look like somebody who is ignoring um, something else and focusing on work. It's interesting that it came with, and the faith is on the bottom of the deck, um, so I guess to overcome the confusion, spirit is saying to have faith, faith in what? Faith in your creations, faith in your work. So a lot, that can mean several different things for different numbers of people because, um, you know, some of our work, some of you guys are not working right now because of the quarantine, but will ultimately get back to work or maybe focused on your creation. So, um, interesting set of cards to come out. Another thing I'm noticing, no men came out on the tarot cards. There are men in this deck, but no masculine energy. Okay, it's a little, it's not many male figures in this deck. So let's give it, I'll just point that out. But there are some masculine energy, not necessarily male, but there is masculine energy in this deck that did not come out. I would say the Knight of Swords would be most masculine out of this whole thing. But anyway, um, 
So there is um, a decision that will need to be considered here with the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. There's, these two cards are telling me a story of someone who has a decision to make and needs to look at the facts or the objectives or to look at it without emotions. Look at it objectively. Um, because someone is not letting loose easy. Because if you see the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, here is like somebody making a decision but being very firm about their decision. But then we have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. It doesn't look like these two people are happy about that decision. So they're fighting against it. If you look at these two cards, they're like at a standoff. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Both of them swords energy. They're at a standoff. It could be like a fight against each other. Someone standing their ground and they could be a part of a team. So someone a part of your team, there may be an argument, um, one person being more calm than the other and a decision that needed to be made. And the decision could cause an argument between two people, but each of them standing their ground, but all of them in a member of the same team. And it could be about a creation or it could be about, um, children, a family, uh, with the empress being on the bottom. Despondence and forgiveness. Despondence reminds me of complacency. Someone who is, okay, it says feeling helpless, acceptance of circumstances with a change on the horizon and forgiveness. Interesting. Forgiveness, it could be actual forgiveness. Um, so honestly, it looked like forgiving somebody for not taking action, forgiving someone for not doing what they were supposed to do when they were supposed to do it. So if you're arguing with somebody that's a part of your team, it is it, potentially related to them doing something or not doing something when they were supposed to do it, potentially being lazy, potentially feeling immobilized by the circumstances. So there's a need to heal the situation with your team. Um, so that you can get back to work with the creation and workaholic. Ultimately, you do get back to work here, but before you can get back to work, it's gonna require you to heal the situation with a member of your team. That's the message that came out. So I can only speak on what comes out. This is an impasse. It's not the end. It's simply a step towards completion. Personally, I just cannot believe I'm in a position where I'm being offered a job in a retail place. And I, it's not like I built, built a retail career. The last time I worked in retail, I was an undergrad. So to, for things to come full circle like that is fucking crazy to me. I clarify that, what else is this? What is this reading about here? Why are these two fighting? major change the lovers so some something happens in someone's life and there's a change um with the tower and the lovers the tower could be that you're coming together with someone else the tower could be you coming into union with someone else and another member of your team doesn't like it um the team doesn't even have to be a work team the team could be, um, look at this, six, nine. To me, when I get six, nine, six, nine is about partnership. Six, nine is like masculine and feminine energy, yin, yang. Again, it clear, it's the same as the lovers to me. Six, nine and the lovers are similar. But we have movement, relocation, and travel, and we have anxiety. So there is a level of, um, so the tower moment could be someone moving, reload, um, needing to make a move or ask to make a move or making a decision on whether or not to move. And um, that's the tower. Coming together with someone else into union and having to move as a result of it and another member of your team doesn't like it. The star card is about recognition. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? 
the star and the four of wands. So the star is about recognition. The star is about being operating in your glory. The star is a positive change. The star is um, healing. But with the four of wands, it's like, clarify the four of wands. That's, the four of wands can mean so many different things. It's success. It's um, recognition. So there is some sort of recognition. It came with the six of wands. So I feel like it's a level of success. It's a level of recognition. It's a level of um, being recognized from someone special. But there is confusion with it and not knowing what to do. That's what the anxiety card is about. There is a level of confusion that comes with this decision that needs to be made as it pertains to movement, relocation, and travel in union with someone else. Um, the King of Cups came with it, which is masculine energy. The King of Cups is strategizing and wanting to take action, but maybe a little confused about it and uncertain about it, not knowing what to do, wanting to come together. Um, with someone else, but something is blocking that energy. Something is getting in the way of it. Maybe this King of Cups is trying to take away um, something from someone else. Interesting. Why is this King of Cups in here? Opportunity. All these six nines, another nine. The hermit. Loneliness, isolation, but also inspirational teacher. And the Ace of Cups, an opportunity that comes through. So interesting set of cards um, to come out. Let's get some map oracle to see what this reading is about. I feel like this reading is personal. Not for me. It could be for me, but it's a personal. I feel like this is more so personal. The last twin flame update I did was more mass scale, but this, or, you know, or it could have just been warning us personally about what was to happen with this COVID and, and pandemic and um, recession. But this is more, I feel like, a personal message for someone. Sweet of God, clarify this message. Lying. Two, two. So the card on the bottom was two. Clarify. This reading is another oracle card. I've been trying to get my son to do TikToks with me, and he just only did two. He is just so against it. I don't know why. Deep freeze, rescue, commitment. Oh, child. Um, heal the ouch. Interesting. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. What is compass? Compass is moving in the right direction, true north. It says, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted, uncharted territories and can expect wonderful new experiences. Keep your compass pointed to true north to stay on the highest path of your destiny. So this is something that's going to happen. This tower moment clearly moves us into alignment with our destiny, into alignment with our true potential and highest self. Flying came out first, so I'm going to read that first. Flying says you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. So something comes back around, or someone comes back around, or their mindset comes back around, and now they have the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Interesting. Um, deep freeze. Maybe that's the masculine seeing things from a higher perspective because I can just imagine that the feminines have already seen things from a higher perspective. It says everything has its season. And now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. 
So I think um, this is also a time to put your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity, so reflect a good book. Read a good book, get a massage, rest and drink. I feel like this deep freeze is about these two people that's arguing here. Whoever it was that was a member of your team, arguing. The deep freeze card is in, now is not the time for that. Put the arguments on rest. Now is not the time to argue. Um, potentially, it's just a time for self-care, not for arguments. Then we have heal the ouch. Forgiveness is the healer of your soul. Heal the ouch and forgiveness came together. So clearly, some of us are going to have to forgive someone. It says, if you feel drawn, it says, sorry, this is a time of great soothing of the heart, mind, body, and soul. Healing will be prevalent in your life now. The Heal the Ouch card may also indicate old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliations are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. So you're seeing things from another perspective because now when the situation comes back around, it's time to heal the situation. It's time to forgive and let bygones be bygones. What did her shirt say? It did look like her shirt said serial killer, but it doesn't. So anyway, when the situation comes back out, it's not time to argue. It's said it's time to heal. It's time to forgive. It's time to reconciliate. It's time to let bygones and bygones and come together. Then we have commitment and rescue. Um, commitment says... A true commitment is the responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is the time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card indicates a natural evolution of a, res of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. A promise of fulfillment in some form. So it's a part. Somebody is going to be committed. So clearly after you and after two people come together and they freeze the arguments and they see things from a higher perspective after some time apart after some time apart um there is an end i feel like these this two together could also be an end to time apart uh, they come together and they will make they get they heal the situation because they can see it from a higher perspective and they recommit to each other with this commitment card it just may be time for commitment and then for rescue would be the last card. It says you are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. It's almost like the help meet just came in my mind. I don't know what the fuck a help meet is as it pertains in a Bible language, but you're a person. Let's just say that. You're a person. I feel like the rescue card is just finally being one with your person. It says. Conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. So I honestly just feels like this is your person coming together. And once you and your person come together, it helps to progress your life. It helps you in some way. It helps your life progress. It is, it is the one piece of the puzzle that you needed to complete and move forward. So continue to have faith, um, which is easier said than done. I don't know if I'm going to continue to have faith because... Um, I've been feeling kind of low lately because Lowe's, um, no offense to nobody that work at Lowe's, but the, if I have to work at Lowe's after all of this, I just don't know about life, not in a suicidal sense, but I just don't know about life anymore if my journey put me in a place where I have to work at the bottom again when I've already been there you know I've been at the bottom why would my journey take me back to the bottom hey well, let me see what spirit is this there's a new beginning um the night of earth so spirit says there's a new beginning um coming with the night of earth the three of the three of earth, the devil, and the four of water. So I feel like um, the devil is fear. The devil is being taken back, going the wrong direction. The four of water is rejection, and the three of earth is a team. 
team or a partnership with spirit. So I feel like that saying partnership with spirit won't take you backwards. So use your discernment and say no to things that no longer serves. Sound like I'm just feeding my own. What is this? Is this about? What is this new beginning about? Okay. I be dropping these cards. It's so annoying. My creations, the empress, creations. Something is gonna work out. Maybe it comes out the blue, maybe not, but there is a new beginning coming in my life because I was pulling those cards out of my lows um, question. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try to get out the house or something or I don't know. Anyway, guys. That is a Twin Flame update. Today is the 27th of April. I hope you guys are doing well, filling out those PVP loans and EIDL applications and getting your stimuluses and overcoming from this pandemic. I wish you the best. Peace.